Now here's an old barn that has a, an example of half dovetail notching. You can kind of see where it slopes down there, but it's straight across there, so you get the half dovetail effect. And again, this is these are you can see where the the axe marks have been left in the in the logs, and that's probably from the late 1800s. That old barn is. Again, no chinking in the middle of it or in between the logs. Okay. The types of barns, just as we had different types of uh, log houses for construction, you got different types of barns. One thing to remember is when you're talking about a house, you have pens. When you're talking about a barn, you have cribs. That's it's basically the same. They're basically one room, but in a barn, you call that one room a crib instead of a pen. And this is an example here of a single crib barn that has been mostly covered up with uh, sheet metal. And you can, you can see the, here where, where the logs are showing out. And just, that's just one crib. That's just a single crib barn. A lot of times uh, the cribs were built to store corn in or some kind of grain, especially a crib like that that's built up off the ground. You probably weren't keeping animals in that. We've already mentioned uh, in an earlier lesson that corn was the most common crop, and so every, every farm had at least one barn that was used as a corn crib. Here's some... You can see here's a, a double crib barn. And that one has a an, uh, breezeway or whatever you want to call it there in between the two cribs. This particular uh, double crib barn obviously has a loft in it. They didn't always have to. You could just have a two cribs sitting side by side, uh, maybe connected, you know, or maybe exactly side by side. This one has a loft that they're uh, putting hay up in. And you can see here a pretty laborious method of getting your hay up in the loft, pitchforks, forking it up, you know, from one, passing it from one person to the next until it gets in the loft. There's really no easy way to, to put hay in a loft, but, you know, there's, there are easier ways than that to put hay in a loft. What's that? Uh, yeah, these are two women, and then there's a, a man up here in the loft. They're, uh, it, it depends on what your preference is, which one's the bad job. The loft is going to be the hottest job uh, because you're up there, not much air floating around. This loft, uh, probably they probably got wood <coughs> shingles, uh, wood roof on this one, so it wouldn't be quite as hot. Uh, when you start getting tin roofs on, on barns, you can imagine how hot those things get up in the loft. Not a lot of air circulating around. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's going to be a pretty tough job. Yeah, both these women have, uh, have got tough jobs. Yeah. The Ozarks was no place for, uh, for dainty women. Yeah. That, that, there weren't many of them. Yeah, if you, li if you lived in the rural Ozarks, uh, most women worked alongside their husbands in the fields. And uh, most of them also, not, in addition to the field work they did, also did the usual housework, yeah, uh, child rearing. Yeah. yeah, a baby every uh, 18 months to two years. And uh, so, you know, you kind of, once a few of them get a little bigger, they can help raise yeah, the, the kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Once you get enough of them, then you don't have to do no, you don't have to help the husband at all. You just send the kids out. That's right. And and that was uh, part of the reason the families were so large uh, was uh, they they produced their own labor forces. You know, on on poor farms or even not so poor farms, 
uh, it was not uncommon for families to have 10 kids or more. And you've got, a, you've, you've got a lot of mouths to feed, but they can work and sort of pay for themselves once they get big enough. And big enough on a farm might mean seven or eight years old uh, when you can actually start doing meaningful work that contributes to the, to the family. The women were pretty indispensable. I mean, they often died. Oh, yeah. All these babies. And sure. The men would have to find another one pretty quick. Right, yeah, and usually men didn't waste much time because they, uh, you know, if you, had, if you had eight or nine kids yeah. and, uh, and, and, you know, the, you're, it, was, it was high priority to go out and find another woman, yeah. you know, and you might go through two or three of them <laughs> before you finally die. That, uh, that was, that was uh, not uncommon, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we talked about that we... The, the two-story log house, uh, Jacob Wolf, uh, another part of his story was that he was married three times. His first two wives died. Uh, both of them had several children. I think he ended up with like 16 kids and uh, you know, had, a, had a, lot of, a lot of hands around the farm there. And, and, it, and, and Millie's right, the... Uh, uh, it was it was not uncommon for women to die it, a lot of times in childbirth, in the in the days before we had really advanced medical care. There was very little me- medical care of any kind in the in the rural Ozarks, or compared to today, pretty much anywhere back in in the 1800s, medicine fire. was uh, fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, lot, lots of houses burnt because, yeah, you're t- dealing with open flames in a house and, yeah, a lot of stuff to burn. But, uh, so that's a good double crib barn. Here's a four crib barn. And this one uh, was, a, was at one time a really neat barn. You can see here, this passageway is going to go all the way through to the, through the other end. Uh, it's a trans, it's, so in, in a sense, it's a transverse barn. Anytime you have a, a barn that has a passageway that goes all the way through, that's a transverse barn. And this one had, at one time, had a passageway that went the other way. So it had passageways going, and so you had four cribs that were only connected by this loft on top of it. So that was a pretty fancy barn at one time. But at some point, somebody came along and boarded up or put sheet metal or something over uh, one of the passageways that went through there. And you can still see a few, of, uh, a few barns like this in the rural Ozarks. Uh, the, the old ones you know, may not be used for much anymore, but, uh, but that, was a, that would have been a fancy barn at, at one time for sure. 